The Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission is now accepting application requests for licenses to sell medical marijuana. As state capital reporter Matty Beer Temple tells you, the license will allow people to grow, process, and sell marijuana for medical use under the Alabama Compassion Act. Now, once the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission receives those applications, the evaluation process begins to see who will get those limited licenses available. Commission Director John McMillan is watching to see how many people apply. The sooner we know how many applicants we are likely to have, it will help us a lot in preparing for that next step. Up for grabs, 12 licenses for cultivators, four for processors, four for dispensaries, and five for integrated facilities. But as of now, it's not something all parts of the state can participate in. So far, a handful of cities and counties passed resolutions approving sales, with Tuscaloosa City Council being the latest Tuesday. McMillan expects more will follow. I think we'll see cities and counties buy in. Uh, See, it's an economic development for some of them. Assuming Prattville joins that list, Xavier Carr is hoping to get in on the industry. He's a veteran who runs House of Hemp, a CBD store. After serving in Iraq, Carr says he knows the benefits medical cannabis provides for PTSD and other conditions. Whether it be cancer patients, people with Parkinson, people with long-term pain, it, it's amazing what you can do with a plant versus what you can do with a pill. Carr is planning to apply. He says he's not deterred by the $2,500 application fee and if approved, an annual fee of between thirty dollars to $50,000, depending on the type of license. The fee is actually low enough for a small business to get involved in. I'm actually happy about that because there are some states where the fee was so high, you had to have a big financial backer just to get invested in something you're, you're passionate about. Applications will be sent out late October and they're due December 30th. Now, McMillan expects patients will be able to get medical cannabis by December of next year, taking into account that licensing process and grow time. In Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, WKRG News 5.